Hello YouTube, adult fan of LEGO UK here and welcome to my review of this Winter Village themed set. So this is the Winter Village Toy Shop set 10199. I've already done an unboxing of this video so take a look down in the description. You'll find the link to the unboxing of this. You'll also find a link to all my other Winter themed, sorry Winter Village um, theme sets and there was, I think there's also a couple of um, other Christmas um, theme sets in there too so go and take a look at those just click on the links and that'll take you straight to those videos so like I said this is a review of the Winter Village Toy Shop this was actually released in 2009 comes of 815 pieces seven minifigures and at the point in time it retailed for £44.99 in the UK or $59.99 in the United States. So let's have a look at the set. Okay, so there we can see it in front of us, um, all built up. So, first thing I'm going to do on this review is take you through the set and then I'll do the minifigures at the end of the review. So, let's get on with the review. Okay, so there we can see the set in all its glory, um, all set out. Again, I think this is another really, really good looking set. Very cool. Got some great minifigures in this one, which I'll take you through, like I said, towards the end of this video. But just to give you a shot there is what the th uh, this particular scene looks like. Um, all built and all in situ. So let's take a closer look at the individual sections to this set now. Okay, so let's have a look at the bench first. Right, so this is our little bench area. Um, we can see there, so there's the bench. We have this tree here on the side here. There are some white studs to represent some snow or snowballs which have been made. Um, down here we have, let's get him in, a little pussycat. See there, playing in the snow. Okay, so good feature on this one is this lamp with its um, Christmas decoration there. Kind of the green, gar green garland. And again, that's on the rear um, also. But you can see there the, the little lamps. They do look pretty cool um, on that lampo. So quite a basic little part of um, this set. So that's our bench. Okay, next up we'll have a look at this ladder. Um, which is what the lady's using to get up the Christmas tree um, to put the lights on the tree. You can see it there. There's the ladder piece in brown. And there's the rear of the ladder. So you can probably just make out the pieces that are used to make the ladder. So this does adjust this piece here, close like so, and open back up. So it just simply sits down like that for our minifigure to climb up. So that's our ladder. Okay, next up we're gonna have a look at the Christmas tree and I must say this is by far my favorite Christmas tree in all the sets I've seen. It is a bit of a build. As you can see there, there are a lot of um, green plates in there. We've got two by fours, two by sixes, two by twos, uh, one by fours. Uh, one by one plates, two by two plates, um, there's all sorts in there. Um, but it is, in my opinion, a very, very cool looking Christmas tree. A bit of a closer shot there and on top we have this star piece. Not a great deal more to say about it apart from it does look good. Um, here, hanging down, these are the lights for the Christmas tree which hopefully we can see there there you go so we've got some uh, red blue and green lights on this string piece and they obviously wrap around the tree which is what our minifigures um, in the process is putting up on the ladder so that is our Christmas tree Okay, and what's underneath every single Christmas tree is obviously some Christmas gifts. I'll quickly show you what we've got underneath. So first off we have this present, 
and we can see there that's a printed tile there, uh, one by two tile, like that. And then we have some tiles and some plates um, to make this gift, which obviously looks like it's wrapped in a bow, but pretty cool in present. So that's the first one. We then have this little robot sort of figure under the tree there, and he's holding this little flower. Again, nice little use of some smaller pieces to build this. So that's our second little gift that's under the tree, this little robot. And finally, what is a very, very, very cool looking piece is our little Jack in the Box. And I think he does look particularly cool. Really, really good looking this one. Nice use of these coloured um, tile pieces. Obviously the red and blue. You can see it uses this standard minifigure head, uh, but then we have obviously it's like a jester's hat that he's wearing on top. Um, but I think he does look really good, really impressed with that use of these pieces um, to make this jack in the box. So that's the little jack in the box under the tree. Okay, next up we have obviously the main part of the set, which is the actual toy shop itself. So uh, I'm just going to show you some shots whilst the camera's still on the tripod, then I will take it off and give you um, some closer up shots of it. So we can see the front here. We've obviously got our door, which does open. There. Uh, on the front here we have this sign, and interestingly enough it's not printed, nor does it come with stickers, so it's just simply a blank sign um, to obviously represent the toy shop. Okay, you can see through the windows in, I'll give you a closer shot of this, but you can see some of the toys in the shop. We've got a train in that one and again a robot in that one there. Um, some good doc decoration um, above the main shop windows here. And again, some Christmas decoration up there. Okay, up in this one here. Um, again, we can see in this window and again, there are well, there's a little toy in there. I think this is where the toy maker is making the toys up in this room. So we have some toy um, tools. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, Christmas decoration again at the top of this one. Um, round to this side here. You see, there's two trees there, and here we can see our chimney stack going up there. And again, looking really good. Good use of bricks and. Um, tiles around to the other side and we can see another uh, shop window there and in there we can see the till area and the counter um, little window up here which is into that workshop area again and again some Christmas decoration at the top here we've got some good use above the top of the window here a type of awning and again you can see that there across the top of this window here so all in all um, as usual with these sets, very good use of um, Lego bricks and tiles, etc. And to make a very, very good looking building. So, quick shot of the rear. Again, I will give a close up in a minute. Um, we can see a little ladder here, a little ladder area. So, we can use that to get up to this floor up here. Up here, we've got a chair. And again, I'll give you some close ups of this in a minute. So down in here, this is our little counter area. You can see in the rear now the train and the robot on their little clear bricks there. That's their display um, over this side. We have a fireplace through there. And again, I'll show you a close-up of that in a second. Um, as with a lot of these sets, this one does come with a light brick as well. So when I'm on the rear, I'll just show you. It's here. We just press that down there. And we can see it come on. Uh, I'm just going to turn my light off so we can see that a bit better. Press the light brick. And there we go, see that light that area up. And if I spin that back round. Bring that a bit closer there. If I press that light brick, you'll see it light up in that top window. There we go. So that's where the toy maker is making his toys. Okay, so just bear with me a second, I'm just going to take the camera off the tripod and give you a bit more of a close up. 
Okay, so let's have a little bit uh, more some close-up shots now. So here we can see again that front door. Let's open that, and then we can see inside. That's the rear of that counter area. So I'll show you the front of that in a second. Um, or rather, it's the front of the counter if you're obviously buying something, but the rear of the counter if you're the shopkeeper. Um, we have this little lamp at the top of here. So again, you can see inside those windows now. So you can see the train there in the display, looking very cool. And in that one, we have our robot on display in that shop window. You can see the trees there and there's that blank sign there just moving up to the top some of those um, decorations and again up the top of that one so just spinning this round to this side so there we can see inside that window okay and if we just work our way up there's decoration again and there is the, the smaller window there, so if I press this light brick it should light up in there. There we go. Okay, spin round to the other side. There's our trees. Obviously we can see our chimney there, going up to the chimney stack on the top. Carry on spinning round, so we can have a good look inside now. So there's that ladder which can be used to get up to the first floor, which is the workshop area. There's our counter and our till. If we look over to the other side there, again we can have another uh, good look at those toys that are on display for the windows. There's the train. And there's that robot there. Spin that around a little bit more and we can see hopefully in there there is a fireplace. You can see that there. Okay, and then didn't point that piece out before, but we have a clock at the top there. And then let's put this ladder down again. This is the little workshop area. So we have this seat here, and this does actually spin. So we can put our shop um shop owner in there and <clears throat> that's his little workbench area there so we can see a couple of tools a little hammer and a little wrench there and looks like he's obviously making some sort of car there at the moment and again there's that shot of that light brick if we press that down and we can see that lighting up um, up in that little workshop area okay so that's the close-up of the set Okay, so I'm going to take a look at the minifigures now. So first up, you can see our two um, children on skis. So these are both skiing. So you can see there our girl. Um, no printing. And there's our boy. And he's wearing this orange bib. It's obviously not so advanced as she is. Next up, we have our lady here. Um, I believe this is our toy shop worker. And again, you can see their printed torso. Next up, we have our next little child there. This little boy here. And again, no printing on the torso. He's got this scarf piece on and uh, this um, grey helmet. And in his hand there, you should just be able to see, there's a white stub piece to represent a uh, snowball, which he's just about to throw. Then we have our toy shop um, worker. So this is our uh, man who's obviously making the toys for his little toy shop. And um, you can see there he's got these green dungarees on. So you can see the printing on his torso over there. Grey beard with spectacles on and a grey hair piece. And in his hand there he's got a carrot. Um, which he's using to um, put the finishing touches to his snowman. Next up we have these two carol singers. And these two do look pretty cool actually so I just want to take this piece off here so this is what is their little carol book you can see here how that is put together and made